Hi, my name is uh, Craig Arthur von Schroeder, and I'm the uh, founder and creative director uh, for Commonwealth Proper. It's a, a wardrobe agency based in uh, Philadelphia. actually went to law school and um, here in Philadelphia, Rutgers Camden, and in law school I, I started a, my own polo shirt company uh, called Kenton Harrow, and I'm f from the Princeton area, so I was always interested in sort of the preppy, the preppy dressing. I wasn't, I didn't grow up in Princeton per se, but I went to Princeton High, and um, coming from a little farming town called Cranberry, we were bussed in and we sort of got exposed to the blue-blooded uh, you know, Princetonians who have all the sort of the history and the old money. and. You know, I was sort of a young, uh, sort of upstart kind of guy uh, in, in a high school you know, filled with people who, uh, um, you know, sort of dressed super preppy, very Ralph Lauren, and uh, with the polo shirt idea, I sort of figured, hey, just change the, uh, change the label on the polo shirt, the money rolls in, and of course it's not that simple, and, um, but I, I sort of got into creating clothing in sportswear, sort of producing it abroad, and sort of traveled around the world, uh, uh, you know, in search of um, sort of good manufacturing and, and, and partners. So that sort of got me into the idea of, of creating Commonwealth Proper. Um, it started off just doing shirts, ready to wear shirts that fit better. This was before, you know, sort of slim fit shirts were the norm, they were, were sort of in vogue. Um, I was sort of on the, on the beginning sort of tide of, of producing uh, uh, sort of slim fit shirts. Of course, I didn't monetize that idea at the time because I was still learning. Um, and, and over a couple of years, I started getting into suiting and uh, ended up quitting my job as a, as a lawyer to pursue this full time. And at first it was, everyone said it was a really stupid move, um, and it probably was, but uh, I guess like most things in life, uh, you know, you sort of have to do it in your own way and, and, and just have the confidence that it'll work out. And, uh, you know, so far, uh, I guess at this point, we're, we're a growing business. We just moved to a 2,000 square foot space uh, here on 19th and Chestnut Street. Um, prime part of the city and, and business is booming so uh, you know I guess it uh, I guess the naysayers uh, you know were wrong we always say we don't really produce anything we're more of a service type of company um, we do make custom clothing we make bespoke we make made to measure clothing we make accessories under all under our brand um, but really we, we sort of provide advice um, just as when I was a lawyer I would provide sort of legal advice uh, I think um, at least the idea behind Commonwealth Proper is to be more of a, a wardrobe agency, as we've termed it, which is a sort of new type of business model where um, you know we we want to be part of a man's sort of uh, coterie or, or, or trusted organization or trusted professionals who uh, you know like an accountant, like a doctor, or, um, like a lawyer. We want to be a guy's sartorial attaché, if you will, someone that. Um, you know, if a guy has a particular event to go to, doesn't have, doesn't know what to wear, he can give us a call, shoot us an email, or stop by the shop, and um, you know, we sort of build a relationship that we sort of know the way they want to dress, the way they want to look. Everyone has their own sort of internal or uh, I should say personal image and brand that they want to portray. Some people like things a little tighter, a little looser, a little flashier, a little more classic, and we get to know our clients over time and, and are able to sort of give them advice based upon the rules of dress that have always been around and then figure out a way in which they can sort of use those rules to their benefit and break them uh, where they need to, to to sort of create their own personal style.